So remember that adding a file or committing it is basically a two-step process. The first thing that we need to do is git add and the last time I typed that little uh, period which pretty much means all but there's a kind of easier more self-explanatory way to do this and type second dot text now whenever you hit enter what git is going to do is it's going to add this or pretty much get it ready to commit it's actually called adding it to the staging area and I just call it the purgatory because it's in between your working copy let me type this out this isn't a command I'm just uh, explaining something working copy staging area and someone's sexting me right now and this is your repository might as well type the whole word out so basically right now we have our third whenever we create a file it's on our working copy it's on a local computer and then on this last command right here git add whenever we add it it goes to the staging area now the staging area is just pretty much saying okay these are the files that are ready to get committed and whenever you want to commit it or whenever you do commit it it goes to the repository now everything in the repository this is pretty much your end goal to get the files to here because whenever they're there git keeps track of those files and that's pretty much I don't know why git was created I guess so anyways that isn't a command like I said that's just uh, my way of explaining this three step process so basically this second text file right now since we added it we added it to the staging area so now if we go ahead and type git status and hit enter it says okay you have one file in the staging area second text in this third text file you didn't do anything to it it's just on your uh, working copy it's just on your computer you didn't add it to the staging area yet so let's just go ahead and press git commit and now what this is going to do is it's going to take all the files from your staging area which is this second text right here and it's going to push them to the repository so git commit message adding the second file to the repository and hit enter and it says la 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 gives you a bunch of messages in you know that's kinda hard to see so let's just go ahead and press git log and once we hit enter we see that we now have two um, complete commits so this was our first one right here this is our first commit and our second one was adding the second file to the repository pretty freaking cool but as you can see if we type git status we still have that third file that we didn't add to the repository yet. It's just sitting there all alone. You know, nobody likes it. So let's go ahead and uh, have it join its friends. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to git add third text and hit enter. And now, as you can see, this is now in the staging area. So now from the staging area, we can go ahead and git commit put a message and say the third file is now um, joining its friends and hit enter and what that does is it commits the third file and of course we can just do git log and verify all that so this is our first commit which added the first file this commit added the second one and this added the third file so now all of our files are in the repository they're all pretty much git is keeping track of all the changes to all of these files now pretty freaking sweet hopefully now you guys understand the difference between the working copy which is the very beginning stage just making a file or editing it on your computer the staging area which is the second stage which is pretty much getting it ready for the uh, repository and the third process which is committing files or finally pushing it to the repository and once they're in the repository you can keep track of all the changes and you're good to go so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video